Good afternoon, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you having a good afternoon. It is Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I didn't have a video planned today, but then I heard uh, the sad news um, of Gary Brooker's passing. Uh, this was not an excuse to rush home and do a video. Um, I just wanted to pay my tributes to him. Fantastic artist from a fantastic band. Uh, sadly missed. I hope it's not a trend that we're going to be starting to lose um, all these fantastic artists uh, in the past. So again, this is not a, oh, I got to make a video uh, on this. Is This is more my respects to the artists and to the band and to the families uh, of the band members as well. Um, fantastic artists that um, passed away at age 76 um, on February 19th, 2022. Uh, so uh, just hitting the news today. Uh, born in 1945. Uh, he landed the band Procol Harum over 55 years. Um, of course, the huge hit, Whiter Shade of Pale. He was also part of the Alan Parson Project, uh, the Paramounts, uh, Ringo Starr and his all-star band. Um, and uh, yeah, just an amazing, amazing artist. Um, Procol Harum themselves formed way back in 1967. Uh, I just, again, I didn't have a video planned. I just wanted to show you the albums that I have from Procol Harum. I'm not going to talk about them. I'm actually going to show them when they were issued. Uh, again, just to show my love for um, Gary Brooker and his family. So this is kind of a beaten up copy, um, but the album itself sounds good. This is their debut album, 1967 release. Uh, I'm sorry, 1968 release on the Durham label. Still sounds good. Of course, Whiter Shade of Pale, Conquistador, two big hits from this one. Uh, in the same year, Shine On Brightly came out. I can't remember if this is the UK version, the US version. Uh, this is also VCLT from Aaron Mutha Alamer. I know because there's a uh, MoFi sleeves in there. Aaron, thank you again so much for this. Um, a great, great album. Not as popular as their first one. Um, they tried to put out a single on this one, but it just didn't. But I love this album. It's so, so amazing. Um, 1969's A Salty Dog. I have it in both vinyl from the A&M label and remastered CD. And this remastered CD sounds amazing. Uh, all kinds of bonus tracks on here. Of course, the album itself is, is wonderful. Uh, Grand Hotel, 1973 release. Uh, this is on the um, Chrysalis label, the Green Chrysalis label. Another wonderful sounding album by Procol Harum. Uh, Exotic Birds and Fruits, one of my favorite covers that I have in my collection as well. But uh, this is um, uh, 1974 release, again on the Chrysalis label. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And The Prodigal Son, a newer release, 1991. I have it on CD. I haven't found it in in, uh, in the wild on vinyl, but uh, we'll pick it up one day. And I still have tons of albums to get by these guys. And finally, live uh, with the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra. A wonderful, wonderful album. This has uh, so many good songs on it. There's the band there. Uh, this is 1971. Uh, of course, Gary Brooker on, on both, um, so vocals and piano. B.J. Wilson on drums. Alan Cartwright on bass. Chris Choppin on uh, organ and, and uh, harpsichord. Uh, Dave Ball on guitar and Keith Reed on words. Um, you've got uh, Conquistador, Wailing Stories, A Salty Dog, all this and more. Uh, and on side two, in held Twas I in uh, Glimpses of Nirvana, Twas Tea Time at the Circus, In the Autumn of My Madness, Look Into Your Soul and Grand Finale. Um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic live performance by these guys. So again, just a quick little short uh, rest in peace video for Mr. Gary Brooker, uh, a gentleman as far as I know and have seen of him. Fantastic vocals. I mean that uh, that concert in um, in Denmark, I believe it was, uh, just remarkable, just remarkable. His vocals were just as powerful 
uh, as he was uh, when, he, when he was a younger man. And again, I just wanted to show you some albums that I have from, from Proko Harum. Now I want to go back and listen to all these albums again and rediscover um, the greatness of Proko Harum. I already knew they were great, but you know, you get listening to other things, you forget and, and uh, you kind of set them aside. But unfortunately, times like this, you dig it out and you start listening. So the next few days, I'm going to be listening to Procol Harum and, and getting back into the greatness of the band. But anyway, take care, guys. Love you all. And again, rest in peace, Gary Brooker. Take care.